Hello, welcome to Remote Desktop Manager Getting Started for Android Application. RDM for Android is an application designed to manage all of your remote connections, passwords, and credentials. Some features might differ a little depending if you're using the application on your tablet or your smartphone. For a tutorial, we'll be using a tablet. Let's take a quick look at how to get started with our Remote Desktop Manager for Android application. When launching the app for the first time, you'll be prompted to enter a master password. You can either enter a password to safeguard your account, which we strongly suggest, or you can leave the field blank. If you choose to leave it blank, the app will open without prompting you for a password every time. Please note that we will not be able to recover a forgotten password. So let's take a look at the data sources. The data source is at the heart of RDM. It is a container that holds all entries. A data source can be stored locally or externally, like a database, Dropbox, etc. Data sources that store their data externally can be shared across multiple Android devices and on different platforms, as well through iOS, Windows, and Mac applications. So let's tap on the menu and then on Data Sources. You'll notice that you already have an XML data source, which is an XML file stored on your device. Tap on the plus to add a new data source. You'll see here the different types you can use. You have the individual data sources, which are the XML, Devolutions Online Drive, and Dropbox. Those are useful for single users that won't need to share their data with other users, but can still access their information across multiple devices, except for the XML data source. All the other data sources are advanced data sources, which are typically running on an advanced management system either a database management system or our own online services. The advanced data sources are usually used by teams since it will allow you to share your data, advanced logging, and much more. The Devolution Online Database, Devolution Server, MariaDB, MySQL, and SQL Server are advanced data sources that will allow you to manage user permissions using a role-based security system. I will select the Devolutions Online Database. So let's type in a name for the data source, the username and password that grants you access to your Devolutions Cloud account. If you don't already have a Devolutions Cloud account, tap on Create a new account and fill in all the required information, and then tap on Submit. If you don't have any pre-existing databases, tap Create a new online data source, which will redirect you to the Devolutions Cloud page where you will then be able to add a new one. If you already have an existing database in your cloud account, simply tap on Select and tap on the database you wish to use. Once everything is done, simply tap on Save. You can tap on the data source drawer to switch between your different data sources. I'll take my newly created one. Now to see your entries or to create new one, tap on Connections. Since I connected to an already existing data source, you can see that my folder structure is already there. Just tap on a folder to see the entries contained in it. Now let's go back to home and let's create a new remote connection. Tap on the plus. You will see all the entry types that are supported. I'll tap on session and I'll select RDP. In the general tab, you must enter a name for your session or you won't be able to save it. Then in the RDP tab, define your remote session. Enter the computer name or IP address and the username password that grants you access to the remote computer. You also have a galore of features that you can modify to fit your preferences through the other available tabs. Once you're done, tap on Save. Your newly created session will appear right here. To launch it, tap on the three dots and select Open. In the session, you'll notice the toolbar at the bottom of your screen. This toolbar will allow you to easily navigate on your remote computer. Tap on the keyboard if you need to type. The finger allows you to navigate using the finger as a mouse. You can also enter and exit the full screen mode on most devices with a three finger tap. A two finger pinch in and out will let you zoom in and zoom out. The three dots will let you minimize your screen. Exit full screen or log off your session. We hope this tutorial helps you getting started with the Android RDM application. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website or our forum.